Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing an English grammar test. So, this is an English grammar test. And there are 15 questions. For each question, there are three choices. And only one choice is correct. Okay, so you must choose the correct answer out of three choices. And I will give you the correct answer after each question. So, here is an example. So this is an example question. And here are the three choices, A, B or C. And only one of them is correct based on the context of the question. Okay, so I'll give you a few seconds. So the correct answer is C is running. Look at him, he is running very quickly. Okay, so this is the present continuous to describe an action that is happening now. Okay, so that's an example, this is what the questions look like. And there are 15 of them. Are you ready? Let's start. Question one. And I'll give you a few seconds for each question. So the answer is most students walk to school in the morning. Question two. And the answer is C is increasing. From this graph, we can see that the level of unemployment is increasing. Question three. The answer is, my mother didn't have a mobile phone when she was younger. Didn't have. So this is the negative form of the past simple. Question four. And the answer is I used to want to live in London, but now I want to stay in Manchester. Used to. Question five. And the answer is was cooking. Jane was cooking dinner when the telephone rang. Okay. Question six. The answer is I wrote the email yesterday, but I haven't sent it yet. I haven't sent it yet. Question seven. And the answer is, in England, we drive on the left. We drive on the left. So it's the present simple 
to describe a regular action, a habit. Question 8. The answer is, when I arrived at the cinema, the film had already started. The film had already started. So this is the past perfect. Okay, past perfect with the adverb already, which goes between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. Okay. Question nine. The answer is I'm busy right now. I am studying for an exam. I am studying for an exam. So this is the present continuous to describe an action that is happening now. Question 10. The answer is Mark is going to study French when he goes to university. Mark is going to study French when he goes to university. Um, this is definitely wrong. Um, this is this is not a big mistake, okay? This, this can be correct sometimes, um, but this is better. This is the correct answer. Going to do something expresses um, a strong intention, okay? It's a definite plan for the future. So this is too weak. This describes the future, but it is, it is too weak because the context here is we are describing an intention, a, um, a plan for the future. So is going to. If you answered will study C, um, you can have a half, a half point. Okay, a half point. It's not a big mistake, but this is the correct answer. Question 11. The answer is, while I'm studying, my friends will be sitting on a beach in Spain. My friends will be sitting on a beach in Spain. Will be sitting. Okay, so it's the, uh, it's the future continuous. Question 12. The answer is, there aren't many tickets left. You should book soon if you want to go. Many tickets. So ticket is a countable noun. So we use many with countable nouns. And we use much with uncountable nouns. And lots of, um, we would normally use this for the affirmative or for a positive. But here we are using a negative. So it's better to use many. Okay. Lots of is more common when we're only using um, the affirmative. So this is the correct answer. This is wrong. This is a big mistake. Question 13.
The answer is... Andrew was very helpful. He gave me good advice. He gave me good advice. Okay, we do not need... Um, um, we do not need the word a or the here. Okay, advice in English is an un uh, is an uncountable noun. Okay, so good advice. Question fourteen. The answer is, it's an interesting article. It's full of good information, good information. So again, information in English is uncountable. Okay, uncountable. Um, so we cannot use um, a, we do not use a, an article, particularly the article a with an uncountable noun. And an uncountable noun is always in the singular form. So this is wrong. Okay. So we don't need an article here. We just say good information. And finally, question 15. And the answer is... I don't know what to do. It's a difficult decision. So we use the indefinite article here. Okay. A difficult decision. Okay. So there we are. That's the end of the lesson or the test. Hope you enjoyed it. And here are some other videos which I think you'll be interested in.